For as long as sailors have set to sea, they've been faced with the problem of how to keep the hulls of their vessels free from things like barnacles, which like to cling on to them, slowing the ship down. In the past, the only way to solve this was bad for the environment. But now, as Tim Cooper has been finding out, there is to be a solution to the barnacle problem, which is also kind to the marine world. HMS Illustrious lies alongside fresh from a refit. As you'd expect, her hull is in pristine condition. And chances are she'll look as good and consequently be as efficient in six years' time. She's the latest ship the Royal Navy has painted with a special anti-fouling coating. It's been developed for the Sea Systems Group of the MOD at Abbeywood in Bristol. And they work very much like a, a non-stick pan technology that uh, movement of the, uh, the ship through the water, certainly at speed, uh, removes all the fouling that would normally ad attach itself to the hull. The Royal Navy has always been at the forefront of anti-fouling, understanding early on that the barnacle is the enemy. Back in the late 18th century, the British fleet plated their ships in copper, which kills any sticking sea life. It gave the UK fleet a huge advantage over the French in terms of manoeuvrability, speed and staying power. But if the problem was solved back in the 18th century, then why are we talking about it now? Well, copper and the later system of tributyl tin, which has recently been banned, harm the environment. Let's pull this one up. I'm at the National Oceanography Centre to meet Dr Ken Collins from the University of Southampton, where they test anti-fouling coatings and see the RN coating as a big step forward. It's excellent because you know, the, the copper, which is so popular, although it's not as toxic as the old-fashioned TBT paints, is still toxic. And certainly in harbours and marinas we have build-up of the, the copper, which, has, which is toxic to many marine organisms. But what's the fuss about a few barnacles sticking to your hull? Surely something as big as HMS Illustrious behind me couldn't be affected by anything as small as a barnacle. Well, studies have shown that if your ship's hull was covered in seaweed, let's say, there'd be a 20% reduction in the efficiency of that ship. And if it was to be covered entirely in barnacles, that would lead to a 60% reduction in efficiency. And that would all add up to one hefty fuel bill. Biofouling, as it's known by scientists, also speeds up the rate at which ships' hulls deteriorate, meaning more time for repairs in dry dock. The third problem is that sea creatures from around the world get moved about. The sea squirts, that's, that originally came from Japan, this one, on warships into Plymouth uh, as a byproduct of the Korean War. The problem of biofouling may seem small in global defence terms, but it's one of the niche work areas where, when successful developments take place, products can be developed which save money, time and the environment. Tim Cooper, Forces News.